words and change the cause. I heard about that. I heard about that. You one of the few that heard about it. Because you probably a historian or, or niggas or nigga like rap and shit like that. Mm. Nigga, a lot of, it ain't a lot of Queens flips out there. Mm. A lot of niggas just going to go off what happened yesterday. A dog not- died. A dog died on the plane today in the overhead luggage. That's today's news. It's more I got than something you. else. You're right. You're people, right. People, people, attention span don't go past three minutes. Yeah, but Killer, you put a lot of work in, my nigga. I mean, we we seen you, exactly. we seen you, we we see we seen you, we seen you come from, you know, different scenarios. But hold on, let me let me say something to you. And I, I want to save this one, flip the script if I ever get you on there. But let me ask you a question. You, and I don't mean to get personal, but you were mad at your ex homie because the nigga wanted some bread. But now, when I watch you, you a nigga that want bread. So who you talking about? We talking about Mace. You, you, the, the, the video shoot shit. You, you, the video shit. What the I heard about is, that? It wasn't really mad at Mace about that. I didn't I, at that particular point. At that particular time you're talking about, I didn't really understand the business and Mace did. I got to okay. give Mace credit for that. Got Mace, it. Knew okay. the, Mace was smart. Mace knew the business before a lot of niggas. So it wasn't like that. When when I was mad at Mace in, what, 98, what you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I was a little mad at him about that. But I can't be mad at him about that because he learned the business early. Okay. So now, I, like, okay, the shit I be mad about Mace is that, that's what I'm talking about, tension span. It would be like, I don't fuck with Mace because he just fucks with God and then be talking, rapping about nuns sucking his dick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I really just can't. I'm not the most religious well, nigga well, in the world, well, 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 but it got to be a little well, higher. Well, 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 I can't well, fuck well, with niggas who going to do a sermon on Sunday and then Monday rap about the nuns sucking his dick in the church yesterday. But Killer, for all due respect, a lot of fans don't know the real street stories. We don't have to get into that. Yeah. I, 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 I. I listen, I, I hear, I understand, so I understand you have valid points. You know what I'm talking about? So with the Mason, so we don't have to really get into it. A lot of people don't understand it. It's deeper than that. The certain shit that you say, it makes sense. But I always wanted to ask you that question because I noticed when I see a lot of things, same thing with the love of hip-hop shit, you were talking about you had your lawyers on it because they did this and that. And I'm like, but back in the days, killer, but you just corrected it. I'm like, Yo, back in the days, killer said he was mad because the nigga ain't do the video. So he should understand why people try to, you know, what, 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 and I say you want well, to hear that. Well, it's a different scenario, too. You're talking about something that's 20 years old as opposed to today. True, true, you, true. You know, it's a way, it was different ways to get money back then as opposed to today. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's true. So, that's true. so it's that's different. True. You know, you got to monetize your brand these days because mm-hmm. it's, it's, people have a t- short tension span. You know what I'm saying? So any dollar you could get now, it come, a lot of it comes digital talking about shit when it was almost tapes converting into cds Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like i don't even got a car that you could put a cd in right now Mm -hmm. i was telling nigga the other day i don't even know where to play a cd at (laughs) the computer can't play in the 2018 cars where do you play a cd at can i can i ask you a question real quick though let me ask you a question i I respect you how do you how do y'all do it though like like talking about the mason real quick how how do how does he say in the interview or you say in the interview, yo, we 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 met up a couple of times within the years, and then y'all be mad at each other all over again. You know what I'm talking about? Like, what, do, do I niggas? Don't, I, I don't say that. Nah, I, 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 the, the niggas said that y'all met up and played basketball at one time or some shit. I ain't like, played basketball with him. It's a lot. Oh, okay. okay I met okay. I met up with him one time to talk business. Oh, business. Oh, okay, okay. Got I met it. up. With, I ain't never played no basketball with that nigga. Oh, hey, okay. listen, man. Well, I'm telling niggas, like, basically, like, with me, I don't really be battling too much. I just be saying the facts and niggas be mad at the fact. Because we live in an era where niggas be mad at the truth. Got it. Say no more. If you say the truth, nigga think you dissing them these days. If you say what happened, oh, you dissing nigga. Why well, I can't say what happened? I'm going to tell my story. I got more stories I'm going to tell my next shit in the program, too. I got mad shit. You know why? Because a lot of my niggas is dead or in jail or they did their time that I could talk about it. Not saying I'm snitching nobody and nothing like that, but D, we live in an era where if you tell a nigga what happened, you dissing a nigga. I ain't never dissed Mace. I only told you what happened in life. I never dissed that nigga. Anything I say was what happened. Kill him, man. You would come on. <sighs> when I said there was a lie. I I I, I wasn't there. I don't I'm not saying exactly. there was a lie. 
but to the naked eyes of this, my nigga. I feel you. To the naked I mean, eyes but see, this what we, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk to you some more, but you bang them smurfing me right now. <laughs> you know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, nah, I, that's, I, what I, I, that's what nah. you're doing. Like, I don't even, yo, 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 flip. I'm gonna be honest with you. This word is my son. I don't do interviews. I did the morning show when I was off tour because it was Mace. I broke up my bitch. I did a lot of shit because I was like, let me just throw a couple shots so I get back. But even like the diss record or oh, people, quote unquote, the response to what Mace had put out, I got 70000 I didn't do it for free. Yo, I, I'm sorry, for I, free. I got a $70,000 bag. I don't really do. I, you know, and, I, and it wasn't a diss. It was just what happened. But like you said, to the naked eye, take it how you want to take it. Well, I, this right now is turned into an interview. Now we ain't doing that. I, no, I but I'm going to let you do it. Nobody else, because, listen, I'm talking about Vogue. I'm talking about Rolling Stone. I'm talking about every blog in America. Some niggas, I don't do interviews, bro. Why would I do an interview? And I did my own live when me and my man was going through it. Me and my man was going through it. I remember. I was I was doing that. And I did a live and got another 250000 just for doing a live. And I'm not talking about... Jim, I'm talking about because that's my brother, regardless of whatever. I'm just talking about we have the accessibility for us Instagram, Facebook Live, all these social media outlets to tell your story without even having to talk to nobody. I don't got to talk to nobody. I ain't got to go to the radio no more. I ain't got to be on my live with you. I go to my live, call Pepsi up, and say I'm about to do some dumb shit. Send in a bag. Okay. We got our own platform. It makes no sense. Like right now, I fucks with you. This is why I'm doing this. I gotta do this with you and nobody else. I ain't got. I could push N. Is that is that easy? Push N. Push N and say I go on my live and I'm gonna talk shit about everybody. Call up some sponsors and grab a bag. I fuck with you and we didn't battle, so I'm gonna I'm give you my time. I appreciate that. I, I, I don't got. I'm gonna give you my time. We, we don't gotta talk about enough. You don't want to talk about man. You know I. Say I know. No. You know, I, fuck I, with you. I like you though, no homo. I, you got a lot I, of heart, I, B. I, I ain't know you saw the, the bang of Smurf shit. I ain't know you watched that. Yeah, I, I, yo, I fuck with you. I want, yeah, like, my nigga, you don't care. That's why I fuck with you. You gotta, listen, you gotta live in this world. You gotta be where, I, me personally, and I, no, we never hung out. I'm just saying, me personally, if you care, you can't hang out with me. You can't. I'm talking about if you care what people think. You can't. And you're a nigga who don't really care what people think for them shit you be pulling on. You can't. Yeah. It's, good for, it's good for your brand, right? Yeah. It works for you. So fuck what everybody else thinks. It works for you, nigga. That's right? true. Right mm -hmm. or wrong? That's true. That's true. You go chest naked, fat nigga, make a pizza, burn sneakers in the mall. You know what I'm saying? I, yo, fam, I watched the Jake the Snake shit no homo the other day. I said, this nigga's fucking crazy. Well, but Jake the Snake fan, no homo. I used to watch wrestling. Nah, me too, me too. I'm just saying, but man. I fuck with you because you don't care what people think, and that shit matter to me. If you start caring what people think, I can't really hang out because I, I do shit with uh, I mean, I mean, not caring that, about the people's I, I, opinion. I, I, the only thing I don't like about you, I, I love you, but I don't like about you is that you'll, you'll invite me nowhere, man. I don't like that, man. Listen, man, me. let me tell you something. I'm working on something bigger than an invitation. Nigga, I'm going to send you a script. And I'm going to send you a plane ticket and some hotel information and tell you to practice. That's what I'm working on for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you so I mean, it ain't, ain't about the fighting. Movie, the movie, the you movie. know why? Because I'm thinking about some money. You can hang out with me and then leave with nothing. You should have a leave with the bag and some memories. I, I, I got you. I, I right or wrong, bag. you want some memories or you want the bag? The bag. There you go. You got the bag and memories. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> yeah. You got three nah. questions. You got three more questions. Make uh, count, just, bro. Any question I can ask? Any question? Anything you want. I don't mean on my answer. You ask anything you want. Three questions. Uh, 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 come on, killer man. Give me nah. three, yo, bro. You know, first of all, this this is why I can fuck. This is why you never gonna win with me because I'm not gonna care. Like, I, I don't and, care I I just, and I ain't disobeying of Smurf. I'm just telling you that's the one. I uh, yeah, podcast I see you do. And I ain't dissing them. But you had them getting emotional. You never gonna get me emotional. <laughs> like I think, I think, y'all from think, Queens, y'all got your own shit going on. I so. think, hold on. I think if you sat down with me, I could. I don't think so. I think I don't think emotional, but I think that I think I can get you into a the Bill O'Reilly camera. On. Like you gonna talk. That was funny. I went in there exactly. knowing what That's I was getting into. I don't think you get mad. No, I can't see you getting mad now. I, I'm not gonna get mad. I, I I'm not. Getting, I can't. I think, it's people that could get me mad, but you're not one of them. 
Now, I got a question, though. Yeah. Now, this is the question I have for you. At the time, now I know the true story behind it. You know what I'm talking about? God damn, this nigga here, you really doing an interview, huh? Oh, no, you said this nigga's I a saw. podcaster. I ain't gonna ask. I ain't gonna ask. This nigga's, gonna a, ask. Real, this nigga's a real live podcaster. I ain't gonna ask. You said ask the three questions I gonna ask. Yeah. I, I'm gonna, I, I want you to be honest. At the time, you was going through some shit with a Queens nigga that I felt you started. And that time, because there was personal shit going on, when people act like, when people were like, Choosing size, and I ain't talking about your main niggas. Did you? Did that make you feel like you had? To, did that was a, was, was that part of the reason you cut niggas off, or you had to fall back? If you understand what I'm saying? What are you talking about? Just be. You ain't gotta. You just say what you saying, I, cause I can't read through the line. Nigga, you was beefing with a, when you had the issue with. I had beef with a couple queens niggas. I'd be with Nas one time. Me and Fifty was battling. I never I'm, had no I'm, real. I'm, 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 I ain't really have no real. Problem with no nigga from Queens, like in physical, it was all rap shit. So I don't yeah, know. Yeah, exactly I, 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 I'm, I'm talking about the 50 shit, my nigga. You know what I'm okay. talking about. Okay. I ain't know talking about Nas or 50. Nah, nah, nah. Well, well, the Nas shit was. I'm talking about the 50 shit. Okay. At, at that time, yeah. Mama Love got sick and all that. You went over there. But what, what I'm saying is that. Did that change your whole perspective on certain niggas? No. Not okay. really, because. Nah, that, that never changed my perspective. It may have changed. But, it may have changed my perspective for the time being, but these are niggas I grew up with. I could never really be mad, mad, mad. Like, you know, people take what they see in the public for what they see in the public. You know, like, once once I get off this phone with you or whatever, niggas are wrong. Oh, kill that queen, da, da. They don't think it's a whole number 23 hours and 30 minutes in the day. This is what this shit is going to last for a week, this shit we doing right now. You understand? Yeah. It's a whole nother 23 hours in a day. That shit don't really consume my day. Gotcha. I just know how to move. But as far as that particular situation, I could never be cool with a nigga I peed they bag when I was little. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. when I spent a nigga at a nigga, a nigga house and I know they family, I could never be really that mad. It's just that some niggas was, all of us was, it was a different kind of money. It's one thing when you hustling, and it's another thing when you start making millions of dollars legally. So everybody got different, and not just them niggas. All of us, including myself. I so I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it no type of way. At the particular time, I'd be like, "All right, cool. That's what it is. What it is." But it ain't to the point where I'm not going. Where I'm gonna hate niggas. That means my nigga, I don't need to be five, six years old. Say no more. I, I ain't gonna ask you. I, I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say the questions for later, man. I, I you, you know. Do. You say ask what you want. I'm, I'm just saying because you, 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 you. You, you, you be flat, you know, you, all them niggas is slick niggas, man. One thing I say, my man, my nah, nah, for real, I learned. You can ask me what you want, bro, but I don't want to answer. I'll just one one of the answer. most difficult people that I have to deal with is my man, <laughs> me, Rex. You know me, Rex, I can't, I, I never went to argue with Rex, and he's a Harlem nigga. Harlem niggas is one of the most, I can't, I'm not playing this game with you. I just mind wrestling game with you, my nigga, I I'm can't. Just, hey, yo, bro, all I'm doing is being genuine, my nigga. I'm in California, nah, I, fuck I ain't Harlem. I, I I I appreciate you even chopping it up with me, my nigga. This shit exclusive, this shit dope, my nigga. Yeah, even cool you shit. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, a lot, a lot of, you've been in the game for a long time. And, and like I said, when you do interviews and when I listen to it, some of the stuff you say is like, when you just responded to the, the whole May shit and, and you, now you, you know, you, you can't hold them accountable. But I know you about your bag all the time. I said I, I couldn't hold him accountable for that particular situation. That, yeah, yeah, yeah that situation. That, yeah, sorry. For that situation, right. you couldn't hold him accountable. Shit, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, you know, know, it's just about your bag, my nigga. I guess it's a Harlem thing. Say that again? I, I said, I guess it's a Harlem thing. You're about your bag. Is there anything you do that don't... I mean, it ain't... Like, what I'm trying to say, you know when people get confused when they be like Harlem and this, that, and the third? Like, I get a lot of people come to me like, yo, can't put me on off of Harlem, whatever. Yo, it's a nigga from Harlem that's a doctor, that's a lawyer, that's a librarian, that's a teacher. You got to make good music and then say you from Harlem. It don't matter if you from Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's the same shit. You ever get somebody who be like, yo, what's your sign? No, homo. I'm a Leo. They be like, oh, that's that Leo nigga right there. The nigga, the nigga acting like a Leo. What's your, you got brothers and sisters? Yeah, yeah. What's your last name? Robinson. Be like, oh, the fucking Robinsons is acting crazy. You know what I'm saying? Good fucking yeah. Robinsons. Oh, the, all them niggas from 
from, I don't know how Queens do their streets, but like Harlem, like all them niggas on 7th Avenue is crazy. Or the niggas on this street. Niggas always find a reason to make it seem like the way you act and the way you act. Oh, okay. he's a Leo. Oh, the Leos is crazy. If, if only Leos was crazy, right? Mm -hmm. It's a nigga in jail birthday every day. Mm. It ain't only Leos in jail. They'll be like, oh, the Leos, the cancer's crazy. Them niggas is crazy. Mm. It's a nigga birthday in jail every day, so everybody crazy. It don't mm. matter what sign or race or color you are. It ain't mm. only black niggas, it's Chinese niggas in jail. You got oh, Niggas God. look for reasons like that, like you said. I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh, you a Harlem nigga. Nah, nah, but hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta yeah. take pride. You gotta take pride and get in the back. Anybody can differentiate Harlem niggas, Queens niggas, and Brooklyn niggas. Nigga, it's not. You can differentiate it. It's, you a, could. Certain, it's a certain bravado that niggas walk around with. Nigga, that's y'all niggas. Queens I niggas got their shit too. Listen, I understand what you're saying, but that ain't the whole Harlem. It's a right. fucking, it's a student in Harlem. Some niggas in college in Harlem. I'm just saying, what it is with us, we, we, what you gotta do is, that's everything. What you gotta do is realize, get the bag and then represent, or, or not even just get the bag, perfect your craft or whatever you're doing and then represent Harlem. It was some Harlem Renaissance niggas before us, right? Yeah. You know the Harlem, you heard the Harlem Boys Choir? Nah. It's the Harlem Boys Choir, the niggas was popping. I you, know know that. you know what I'm saying? Nobody's be like, oh, it's the Harlem Boys Choir, them niggas as well. It's just that we made a movement at the time being dipset, and niggas be like, yo, it's Harlem niggas. I ain't say no more. You know I, what I'm I, saying? How many more questions I got? One more? Two more? One more question, bro. All right, let me ask you a question. All right. Now. <laughs> yo, man, man, you need a job at the fucking radio station, bro. Never, never, nigga. Nah, nah, nah. I'm going to ask you. Don't ever say I, never. No, 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 no. I mean, that's not my, that's not my goal. You know what I'm saying? If a you know, nigga but, call and ask you to hire you, you going to say no at high 97 for the mornings? Yeah, maybe. You going to say, no? say no? Maybe I say no, maybe. I, how you going to say maybe I say no? You gonna, I have other things. Maybe I say no? I have other things. Maybe. The, I have other things in the work. It depends on what I'm saying is, so you would say no? Depends, yeah. I, I may say no. That's not that's that's some queen shit now. Now I'm gonna put the whole queens on that. Oh. Nigga can nigga cannot say be definitive. Right now, Ebro call you. Yo, you know what? I'm going away for two weeks. We wanna give you this slot and see if it works out permanently. Can you make it tomorrow from five AM to ten? Tomorrow. I would I would do that, but I yes can't. Yes or do it. no, could you come tomorrow? Yes, nigga, but I can't do there it permanently. You there you go. There you go. That, that's your question. All right, let me get my last You'll question. You'll be a radio. You'll do the now, radio. Now this question, this question may 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 offend some. So, <laughs> you know, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm asking you a question. I, I, I know. No, I, I, know I ain't gonna get offended. I'll just tell you if I don't want to answer. I'm not gonna. A answer. lot of a lot of niggas don't like talking about this this particular situation. But right. there's a video flowing around of a nigga that you played in a movie walking around Harlem. How you feel, how you feel about that? Right. I never met him, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know him personally. Um I know the story because I'm too young to know that story, like hands on. But growing up in the era I grew up in, I know I um knew the story. That's why I was able to play the part so good, but I never met him um ever. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't you know, I don't have no real opinion on it to be honest. I have Respect. no opinion. It's my last question, my nigga. Respect. I need to answer that. <laughs> See, I have no opinion on that shit, bro. I really don't. Bro. But you had to get the. We okay live in the day, and yeah, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. And I'm not talking about that particular person you're talking about. Mm -hmm. But we live in the day and age, my nigga, where you could you could be anybody you want. It don't matter who you used to be. Mm. It don't matter who you used to be. If you make if you if nigga believe you today, that's who you are. Because it's all type of rappers that used to be somebody else. And now they're rappers, uh, whatever you want to claim them to be. But they used to have another occupation. And now they're, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're, yeah, they're, they're quote unquote big time rappers. So, so wait, 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 I got one more question though, my nigga. God damn, God damn. Last, last, last one, last one, last one. Last one. Now, <laughs> you, see, you see, what's your relationship with that nigga, Hellroy? That's the, your man? Who? 
Hal Brown, that's still your man? I haven't spoke to him in a long time, but I, I still consider him a friend. I haven't spoke to him in a, in a few years. So, so, so if, if, if you, if you see the nigga, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, you really, you might need to get on that morning show tomorrow, bro. Hold on, hold on. If you see the nigga down, what you go? What advice you gonna get that nigga, son? Cause he, he, you got. Come on, kill it. Only you can. You want to be dead serious? This is what I say. You want to know the truth? I want to know the truth. And this is no diss towards towards how round. This is what I said after the recent shit that came out. Yo, yeah. this is dead serious. It don't matter what I say, niggas always going to be like, can't be clowning and all this. And I'm not talking about Hellrell because I haven't spoken to him in a while and I'm not dissing him or nothing. But I told somebody I know that speaks to him, I'm like, yo, what Hellrell should do, out of this. Is Keep the phone still. Keep the phone still. I had to put this shit on the charger, brosy. Can you see me? It's not a disc ad. I'm trying to make sure you can see. My phone is... You got it, Sean? Hold on one second, I'll flip. They're killer crazy, son. This shit got 46 seconds, man. Killer crazy. I love that nigga, son. That nigga crazy. Yeah, guys, we got 30, I got 33 seconds left. No, no, no. I'm in LA. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going. What I was going to tell you is this is word to everything I said. This is no joke and no diss. What I say I would do at this particular point is for marketing person, I'm not saying he should do this. I'm just telling you what I recommended he would do if I was him or me is go in a karate class and tape it right